Okay, welcome back. Um, yeah, so in the last video you saw the, the connection where we input, uh, when we create a new object, take uh, put input into it, and um, then this is sent to the constructor and is stored in the variables. Maybe I should just, um, so take like in here for the string, so it takes input here from, uh, from Peter. Peter has been put into there, and then, uh, name equals name in, in this line, uh, whatever, then Peter is being, being uh, stored in the name variable, which is uh, which is this one as well, so just, ah, oh, so that's, uh, yeah, so that's the way that we move information around, so Peter is being stored, the name Peter, the string Peter is being stored in the name variable of this baby object, baby obj1, and uh, I want to show you that we uh let me just show you what what, what happens now um if I'm going to uh to print baby o b j one and uh run it so I'll put this one down here to run it and show output um so you can size the windows like that and it gives some crazy information back that uh, I don't know. I have no idea what what it, what it says, what it does. But uh, what we want to do, we want to print the information from the the baby object. And the way we do that is uh, we create a two string inside the baby class. So at the end of it, usually I think we put the two string at the end. Um, okay. Um, so let me write public string to string and parentheses empty and uh, start uh, and then hit enter and it I should also create that it says that, that it automatically creates the second uh, curly bracket so just create one and then present and then it automatically creates the second one so uh, so everything is in uh, the way it's supposed to be and now it's complaining because we need a return statement and I'll I'm probably confusing you right now and this is uh, okay we'll get to to all of it. Uh, yeah, can be anything. So let's just return name. That's it. Now, what will happen is when we print the baby obj, what we will print is the name because the the object looks for the two string and whatever it says return. Let me do like this. So return name. So whatever is after the return statement is being returned when we print it. So now we print baby obj1 and Peter should be printed if I'm right. And let's see if I'm right. So down here, play Peter. And I can zoom in just for, see it says run Peter. Um, it works. What we can do now, we can actually just make a plus and print all of the variables. So the next one is uh, I color plus uh, height plus uh, weight and just a moment I'll just do um, I do like like this so it's not so confusing I uh, hope uh, and maybe I don't know if I meant it I, I changed the font thickness of the font and the font type I think this will be easier to see to view on the uh, on the low quality video um, and later I will show you how to change uh, the font and the font colors of the font for the uh, if you want the cool comment uh, pink comments instead of the dull gray ones then I can show you how to do that but that will be later I think not now will be uh, will be bad short sure now so let's run it again now we have more info fun in the two strings so let's uh, press run let's see Peter blue 525000 uh, zero, zero. so zoom in yeah and you can see um it does what it's supposed to do that's what we told it to do but for this for our uh, for our eyes our mind this is just plain peter blue who's peter blue and what is this 5 is a million or no, 50 uh, 502500 this number doesn't tell us anything so what we're going to do is we're going to a format, it's called, called format the two strings so that it looks nice. And let me just, um, now I'm just going to show you how it's done and later I explain how, what's going on. Um, yeah, I think I can explain what's going on actually, why we do it. So, name Peter. Okay. So the name is Peter. 
we should make that clear. So the way we do that is we just create a string inside this return method. Um, two of these. And now it's just an empty. And we have to... Uh, so we could do like this. Uh, the baby... The baby's name is... The baby. I think we do like this in English. The babies. Ah, uh, my language skills are not uh, top notch. Uh, not so great. Um, but the thing is like this. Otherwise, please forgive me. Uh, the baby's name is. The baby's name is. Um, and then uh, colon, and then space. And it still gives an error because we need a plus sign. So now. We'll have in the return statement, it has this text. I can just do it like this. Let's highlight it. So this text will be printed, followed by uh, the name, the eye color, the height, the weight. And let's see what it does. I think it's easier to run it. And I zoom in. I have to remember to zoom in. Uh, the baby's name is Peter Blue. All this crazy numbers. So that, I guess, that's first step of uh, whatever we're doing and um, yeah so we could go on like this uh, name and then we uh, after name plus we create a new text and uh, should be uh, the baby's name is I color is I color is um, and a plus because we have to separate them so and then we can run it again and see. Uh, what did I just do? Peter I. Oh, yeah. And uh, it actually did what we told it to do, but not what we wanted it to do. And this is often the way it happens uh, in computer. Everything with computers. Uh, the baby's name is Peter I. <laughs> nah, it's actually just because we forgot uh, it has to have, um, what do you call it? an empty space before so right as big ah, what's going on um it's slow so um right plus yeah like this so in between here we want uh, an empty uh, space just space um so how do we do that that's actually one of the easy thing things to do so we'll just um Before I color, we just create the space here and let's try and run it again and see what happens if we're successful. Uh, speeder, I color is blue. All right, so far so good. Um, well, we could make it. Uh, could make it a bit. We don't have to have this uh, colon there. The baby's name is Peter. And then we can do like this, space, and the eye color is blue. And uh, let's see what happens. Yep, the baby's name is Peter, and the eye color is, oh, uh, double space, the eye, why? Oh yeah, and the eye color is blue, so just me, my mistake. Um, and then we get rid of that. So we don't know the eye color is blue. Uh, now I'm going to show you something cool um, that we we do when we work with strings. This is called uh, I think it's called exceptions. Uh, I'm not really sure because exceptions also means something else. But anyways, this is what we uh, we can create a new line here. So we don't print everything out in one go. We can actually just um, by having the uh, backslash and then n for new line. So that couple of these uh um I hope it's not giving to advance i color is and we where we we would want and the i color is after i color i think the i color is blue um plus now here so if we start the the new string with uh n like this backslash n the computer will go to new line and uh, the business is Peter, and the eye color is blue. The height is. And what's wrong? We forgot the plus sign, of course. 
height, and then we might as well make a and on the same line. It's plus height plus and a new one. Uh and then space because it's on the same line. We don't create a new line for this. So space. Uh new line, the height is uh space, height plus space. So let's just my I'm, I'm getting uh oh we need a plus there. Uh now we can see because I'm not really sure I can keep it all in my head. So let's just try and run and see what it does. Okay. The baby's name is Peter and the eye color is uh, blue. The height is uh, 50. So we have, and the weight is something. Um, space, and the weight is, and the weight is plus. So we need a space between as well, plus weight. And we should be good to go. And it's also the uh, end of the video because uh, time is running out, always running out. Um, so let's run it, see what it, what it does. Um, the baby's name is Peter and the eye color is blue. The height is 50 and the weight is 2,500. Okay, that's just height 50 watt, weight watt. So uh, when I think about it, I think 50 centimeters is a bit big for a newborn baby. It's not a newborn baby, it's a bit grown. Think, I don't know. I never had a baby, so okay. Um, so after height, the height is um, plus height. Uh, so we would need in this following string, we would need what height? What uh, is fifty centimeters? And the weight is plus weight. And here we will have a new plus um, gram. A G gram. And let's run it again. And then this should be the end of the video. 12 minutes. So. The baby's name is Peter and the eye color is blue. The height is 50 centimeters and the weight is 2500 gram. This is perfect. So n now the cool thing is we don't have to uh, do the same thing for the next because this is in the baby class. This is not, this is for all baby objects, all babies created ever that we just. Now I'll just go a bit fast. Don't want to, don't want YouTube to to reject the video because it's too big. So, so um, let's just run this one and see. What happened. Wow, it's beautiful. The baby's name is Peter and the eye color is blue. The height is There's Mary and the eye color is green. The height is. I really just realized that the sex uh, male female would wouldn't be so bad to uh, have for a baby. But we are out of time, so it'll be for the next video or something. So, uh, bye for now.